Okay, so we are going to talk about the progressive wave equation. So first of all, what is a progressive wave? So when you say that something is progressive, it means that it is going, it is moving, or it is going from one point to what to another. So when we say a progressive wave, now you might get it confused and say, I thought wave is moving. So why did we put progressive again? Now the reason is that we have something that we also call standing wave. So we have a standing wave. When we get there, we are going to explain it. So but when you say progressive wave, it is a wave in motion. A wave in motion going from one point to what? Another. Now, so what are we talking about on that progressive wave equation? So whenever we have a progressive wave, let's use a transverse wave to illustrate. So imagine you have something like this. Remember, we have um, A, this is A, the amplitude. Now, on this axis, let me say I have the distance moved by the wave horizontal. This is the horizontal distance moved by the wave. And then this is the vertical distance moved by that moved by that wave okay so this is the vertical distance moved by the wave this is the horizontal distance moved by the wave a represents the amplitude of that wave so looking at this wave now we can mat mathematically model this wave okay and mathematically we can say that the equation of this diagram or this graph we have here is equal to a sine bracket we can have omega t plus or minus kx okay so this is the mathematical model of this equation of course i don't want to add so much details to the diagram in order not to confuse you so but basically we are going to explain what this equation is talking about okay so first of all what does the y represent y represents the vertical distance vertical distance or displacement let's use displacement vertical displacement and then a we have seen a before a means what amplitude amplitude and then what does um omega mean omega the one that looks like w that guy is the angular frequency angular frequency sometimes you can call it angular velocity so we can also say angular velocity so or angular frequency anyone okay now t is your time we have talked about that K is what we call wave number. We call it the wave number. Okay? We call it the wave number or, or phase constant. Or phase constant. Or phase constant. And then X is the horizontal distance. Horizontal distance. X is the horizontal distance or displacement. Sorry displacement since we are using displacement okay so this is what the wave equation is simply talking about now if you analyze this equation very well of course you have this in your notes now if we analyze what this equation is talking about okay remember we said a represents the amplitude now look at the center of this we have a plus or and minus now, this does not mean that you always have plus or minus here, okay? What this means is that sometimes there will be a plus, sometimes there will be a minus. Depending on the direction of the wave. Depending on the direction of the wave. So take note of that, especially if you are a jambite. It is depending on the direction of the word wave. So when you have a plus, when you have a plus, when that equation becomes a plus, example, when you have y equals a sine omega t plus kx. Let me write out the equations first, okay? Or you can have y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx, okay? So you have these two equations that were compressed to get the first one that you have here. Okay, so when you have a plus at the middle here, take note, it means that it is a negative going wave. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Don't say that because there is a plus here that it is a positive going wave. It is a what? A negative going wave. So it is the opposite. So there is a plus here. It means that it is a negative going wave. Now, when we say negative going wave, what does that mean? It means that the wave is traveling from right to left. Okay, from right to left. So if I said that something is going negatively, it means from right to left. So 
imagine this wave so if i come and draw this diagram now you cannot tell the direction of this wave but if i put an arrow like this putting an arrow like this means that the wave is going this way so right this is your right to your left so it is a negative going wave and because it is a negative going wave it goes with plus take note of that and then on the other hand we have the minus at the middle so when there is minus at the middle it means that it is a positive going wave minus means the opposite which is the positive going wave and when we say positive going wave uh -huh, what is it going to be yes you are there okay it is going to be a positive going wave meaning that it is going from left to what to right so if i come to this diagram and put the arrow like this now meaning there will be minus here showing that the wave is a what a positive going wave so remember positive going wave is minus negative going wave is what is plus okay very important now in this equation we are we know what amplitude is okay we know what x is we know what y is now our problem is with this w and this k here okay so we've already said that w is angular frequency or angular velocity but w has its own formula also so w has the formula 2 pi f so when you break down w if you break it down w is equal to 2 pi f what does f mean again uh -huh frequency you are there okay frequency it means you are remembering so w is equal to 2 pi what f f is your frequency now k is equal to 2 pi over lambda uh -huh. what does lambda mean uh, you see you know it so we have lambda which is what our wavelength which is our wavelength so k is equal to this w is equal to this so now that we know that w is equal to this and k is equal to this it means that that equation will change that equation that we wrote as y equals a sine omega t plus or minus kx this equation can change and we can rewrite it as y is equal to a sine what is omega what is the formula for omega we have 2 pi f so we have 2 pi f t remember there is a t here so omega is only 2 pi f eh? you see then plus or minus k what is k 2 pi over lambda and then x so remember that so this equation in expanded form look at how it looks like this is how it looks like so make sure that you don't confuse yourself with that okay so the formula for omega is 2 pi f formula for k is 2 pi over lambda now as a jam byte jam can ask you to find the velocity of a wave jam can ask you to find the velocity of a wave of course you can get the answer by first finding the frequency then the wavelength because v is equal to f lambda right yes v is equal to f lambda so you can first find the frequency of the wave and then you find the wavelength of the wave you now use both of them to find the word the velocity but if you are in jump class you cannot do that doing that is a waste of time because you need the answer in as fast as five seconds or at most 10 seconds so to get the answer you can say that v is equal to omega over k omega over k so whatever omega is divided by k we give you your velocity so this is my personal formula which you can just have at the back of your head you because you will not see it in your textbook yes you will not see it in your textbook so just take note of this and it is going to help you of course we are going to look at an example on on this okay